Okay, everything's going. Why don't we say welcome? Oh, never mind. Why don't we say what? I was going to say we should say welcome back from the title screen. Mix it up a little. Oh. Like from the switch, whatever. Just cut this out or keep it in. I don't care. Welcome to hey Rattata. guys. This, this is the episode. <laughs> this is the intro to the video now, I decided. Uh, last time we were trying to figure out how in the world it could have locked this door, because it's a locked room mystery, obviously. Our theories right now has to do something with like a rope coming through that window to the door, potentially. But we need to go outside and check something. Because apparently there's some piece of evidence outside that Halara thinks is, like, integral to solving it. Uh, I, I see mean, boxes. Hey, didn't you already check this in the real world? Why do it again? Halara told me to. Yeah. <laughs> Halara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. So the box lets you see up to the window very good. Now, Lee. let's think of height. Yeah, so the window's pretty tall. That's what I was saying, is you could, like, zip line the paint can down or something. I meant more who needs these boxes. Like, these boxes specifically. Okay, are you, are you, are you going towards the little boy theory again? That or uh, just one of the shorter church people. Maybe. Because that girl, I think, was, like... Like, I don't even think Yuma could see in through there. I Maybe. Think, I think just a little bit. It'll be hey, close. Maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. And that way, the key would be found inside. But you'd have to nail it through. It had to have already been done. Right. Well, how about that theory? It's stupid. Oh, oh your theory made the world crumble. <laughs> Get on the boxes. What? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Is this the storage key? Do 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 do. Which means we gotta do it ourselves again. Because of the culprit, what happened to the key? This one's a freebie! Uh, they hammered it? <laughs> I was right. Just Could they have dropped it from the top? My only other thought, I don't know how in the world you would do this. Okay, okay, hold on, this is actually kind of interesting. So let's say they make a loop again from the window to the door handle, right? And that doll in the ground, what if they somehow used the weight of the paint can to like smack the nail down into the doll and hammer the key with it, you know? Okay. I, I don't know how you would. Or maybe... No. Mm, well, let's just see what they say. The yeah. The key inside? They definitely didn't throw it. Did or maybe they did, because they have, like, really good accuracy, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh... They threw... Nah, nah, that's not it. They didn't throw it. It's away. You're gonna fall. I don't care. Not my problem. Mm, didn't throw it. Their throw can't defy physics. Oh, please. Okay. That's the right answer? No. How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No. Key no. had to have been in there from the, the get-go. It wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. <sighs> If they is there any way they could have used the key and then nail it afterward? I don't see how. I I would think you'd have to drop the nail from the top, but I don't even think even that would be enough like force. Yeah, you'd need something to like smack it in, like a paint can or something. Right. Maybe. Oh, here's a here's kind of a cool idea. Okay, okay. You remember there were beams on the ceiling. Yep. So if they throw the rope around the beam, tie it to the paint can, and then put the other end through the window so now they have a pulley that they can pull up the paint can only problem with that <laughs> the beams weren't visible when we walked in there yeah and halara immediately knows the answer yeah so i don't think that's right but i get where you're coming from just an interesting thought is maybe they could like drop the weight of the paint can onto the nail or something but even then how do you get the nail and the key positioned on top of the doll in that spot here's an idea what was the paint already spilled uh when? And the can was just placed there to make it look like it spilled again. I mean, we got that information from the employee here. I mean, and the paint would be dry. Or no. The, the paint was wet in the post-cognition. But I mean, if it just happened a few hours before, I think right. you'd have a while. Yeah. Like, literally, there's, like, videos where it's like, watch paint dry, and it takes, like, nine hours to do. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's, like, in a puddle and not, like, a flat surface. Sur yeah, exactly. Huh. The key was nailed to a painting. 
That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. I want to see Yuma get me and be like, duh, moron, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you might later. Oh, right. But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Hmm. I think they threw it. can't nail the key after throwing it. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> you didn't give me time to think. Off I go. But what did he say? What did he say? You can't nail the key after throwing it. And then it fell. Ah. Uh, does that mean that's a wrong answer? I feel like it. The key vanished. Oh, man. The key is in my hand. Oh, now we gotta do it. Where'd I get this doll? Master, you got the doll in now. You're the nail man! <laughs> I'm supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Oh, you know, that'd be a really cool, like, trial later on, as if you were... I keep calling it a trial, and it's not a trial, it's like a case, I guess. Right. If you were, if you're, like, solving a long time ago murder, and, and it was you, and that that's your it. lost memories, and you're, like, uncovering that it was you who did it. That's, like, final game type stuff, though, Yeah. You know? But that'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna solve this. Um? In the next episode. <laughs> That was really short. <laughs> I wonder, okay, so we know... Here's a question. Mm. Recreate the locked room. The paint is already spilled. Locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. True. True. Uh, okay, so here's what I was going to ask. So there's no way they could have nailed into like the concrete floor, right? Mm -mm. So maybe there's a chance that like the pa painting and the doll could have also been like mobile at one point. We have a ladder. <sighs> I don't even know. This is giving us like less hints than we had last time. Yeah, this one. I I'm guessing it gets harder and harder. The like one was easy, two was moderate, and then three is like, wow, well, good luck. There's a moving cart. Oh, here's the painting they had. Yeah, so this is right from the get go. So they found this painting in here. They have this ladder, maybe could be related. I don't know. I feel so stupid. I just don't know right now. Yeah, give me a hint. Yeah. Use everything you know. And work here. <laughs> you should already have the answer. All that's left is to follow the steps one at a time. It's that simple. Okay, I got this. Listen, listen up. Get your notepad. All right. So all you got to do to create a locked room mystery, we're gonna break this down to the simplest pieces. You got your dead body already. I do wonder if maybe the bonk on the back of her head could be related to how they locked it, but that's okay, not Okay, well, the first thing the they did now. is leave. The first thing they have to do is leave the room. So we start, yeah. So they left the room. And what they do to make it a locked room mystery, I don't think they could have just locked the door at this point, you know? Because mm -mm. um, then, you know what? They could have just thrown the key in through the window. They wouldn't have needed anything else. I'm guessing this stuff here is how they locked the room. Mm -hmm. It's just a turn latch. I feel like maybe if you had some nails and some string, you could create like a little thing, like a little pulley thing where you put a nail around each side of the latch and then like twist it via a pulley outside and then pull the nails back through. Maybe that's what the can is for. Maybe, maybe. To, like, lift it up as, like, a weight, like a counterweight. Hmm. Something like that. Well, anyway, we gotta think where to start. I feel like the starting point, is it the door or the window? I almost feel like it's the door, because they just left first. Because, yeah, they just leave first. And well, they, that, they... Might, that might not be right also, but... Well, we have there to start somewhere. you have to do, but first, you need to set the conditions to yeah. create the locked room. Okay. Wasn't the doll you just obtained used somewhere? Okay, so uh, uh, you don't have to smack me for it, Halar. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Okay, so the painting. Okay, yeah, they get the painting first, and they do something with this. All right, first take the painting. I was thinking too, like meta <laughs> with it. Okay, so you take the painting, you put the nail in the doll. That they it said the doll was nailed to the painting. Okay, like, like it wasn't just sitting on top of it; it was nailed to it. Oh, what what does that even mean? This is stupid. I'm mad. I can't figure this out. <laughs> My brain isn't working. Okay. Nail the doll to the painting. Yeah. Or prop the painting up against the wall next to the window. 
Um, that's interesting. Like, could you kick it out? Oh, you bounce the paint can using the painting as a trampoline, and you get it to smack into the latch. That cannot be a real answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you nailed the doll to the painting. Yep. The culprit nailed the doll onto the painting. Next, both were stood up at a certain location. Stood stood up or sat down? Stood up. So I guess it was stood up against the window. What does that do? If you put the painting, like, here... Oh! 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 What? I still don't get it. I don't know how you would do this. No, I don't know if this makes much sense. I was thinking, okay, you can slip, like, a finger through there, right? So mm -hmm. if you had the painting propped up on this wall... You could stick your finger through and flick the painting over, and then it falls onto the nail, you know? But that doesn't make sense with how it laid right here. Unless you put a butt end first. Yeah, but then how do you flip it over once you're outside and the door is locked? Well, that's what I mean. Like, look at it. Uh -huh. So you grab it from the bottom and then put it up against the window. So the bottom part is at the top, and the painting part is facing toward the wall. But then the nail would be sticking... Well, let me think. Well, no, because you just need the doll nailed to it. For some reason, I still don't know why, but... Huh, okay, well, anyway, we know... That, let's just think of the sequence of events, I guess. We know they did this first. Um, I don't know, man, just solve it. <laughs> I'm so sad I don't have this instantly figured out. Yeah, we at least had, like, very close... We had it very close with the last one. I mean, in fact, I think we basically did have the last one. Just, like, there was some wiggle room with how... A few different ways they could have done it. Right. Um, but I think the ways we suggested would have worked. Uh, well, I think it was propped up against the window. So let's just do that. Yeah. Let's it'll, take a it'll make sense. Even if I figure out a second before, I'll be happy. The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with facing the, the window is right next to the window. Oh. So the doll is right next to the window, so they can hammer it in and then just tip it over. Was the doll... They, they uh... Is the nail in the body or the doll? The nail is in the head of the doll. I thought then, it was in the body! And then they nail the chest with the key to the painting and tip it over. So... So, so they do lock the door with the key. And then they come around, hammer the key to the painting, and tip it over. Ow, I thought the nail was in the body. I'm so <laughs> stupid. Uh, okay, that's so clever, though. That's... Oh, I could have figured that out. I didn't even think about that. I really should have... Mm, I was thinking of, like, stuff to do with how you would latch it, but it makes sense. You could, like... How would you actually just use the key? Okay. Uh, I'm you, so you mad. win, game. You win. All right. I'll what do you mean the nail... The key... <sighs> Whatever, man. Uh, you get it, though, right? Yes, I get it. The doll, the, like, it's upside down, I think. And the doll yeah. is right at the window. Yeah. So... They nailed it to be at the height of the window at this point, and then they just tip it over. I know, right? I thought, it's it's, it's so, not like, even that. Like, that's smart. That's fine. I didn't get that. I just, I, I don't know why I thought the key was in the woman. The, the woman? I thought the key was around the nail in the woman. I had that backwards in my head. Oh, you thought it was in the, yes, the actual was in body. The, the body. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, I don't know why. I swear we probably looked at it like a hundred times. <laughs> okay, I thought you just meant you thought the nail was in the doll's body, and I'm like, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but... <sighs> that. I hate this game. <laughs> you hate yourself, don't lie. <laughs> yes, it makes me so mad. <laughs> hey, we'll get the first one so easy now, though, I feel like. Who cares? Who cares? I'm so depressed. You know what, that's what I love about these mystery games, is that they're so mean. <laughs> I know. Anyway, he doesn't need to do anything else. Now he just leaves, goes around, nails the key to the thing, and tips it over, right? Was there anything else here? Why, what's up with the paint can, though? That's such a red herring if yeah. it has nothing to do with anything. Because it was in front of the door. That feels like something that's going to come back later, yeah, almost. Yeah, like, I still feel weird about that paint can. Maybe maybe this will be more of a clue of who did it rather than how they did it. Yellow paint? Do we see anything with yellow paint in anybody? No. Uh, that Unless it was an accident, maybe this is how the girl broke her arm? It has to be for the first one, I would think. Because the other two happened way later. Yeah. Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. God dang it. 
Yeah, I'm mad for not like thinking more along these lines because I, w- I was thinking of ways. I was mainly my problem is with these types of games. I get so focused on one piece of evidence. So I'm like the paint can. The door was in front of the paint can, or the paint can was in front of the door. So the paint can has to do something with the door. Oh, I know they use the paint can to lock the door, but no, there's it just this like th- that has to do something with something. Otherwise, why would the door swinging open knock over the paint can? My problem is I'm stupid. That totally comes in later, and I want to know how, but I'm not going to know how. What's up with this wall? Why can we look at the wall? <laughs> I think it's just to provide a different option. Is it, which one is it? The thing that's yeah. clearly, like, obvious, or this? I don't even know how you would use the wall. Hopefully I'm not wrong now. <laughs> I see the painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. Yeah, now you just hammer the key to that sucker. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Though, is it really possible to nail the key to her now? With such a small 5 centimeter gap, I think they said it was? No, I feel like you have a problem here. Yeah. How do you get the... Because they said the nail's already in the doll. One of them, but there was two nails in the doll. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, one of the nails is used to hold it up. Mm. So you can slip a finger in and just hold on to it while maybe the other hand messes with it? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... Nailed it. Threw it! They threw it through the window! Nailed the, pa- when it nailed the painting. Hung- nailed to the painting with the doll, okay. Hung on a nail stuck in the doll. I don't think that's even possible. The culprit yeah. nailed the key to the painting along with the doll from outside the window. Hold on, can I, uh... Oh, I was curious to see uh, where the nail was on their head right now. Hmm. Finally. Okay. That's some oddly specific, like, how you'd fit your hand through there and do that without tipping it over on accident. But you would need very small hands. Probably would need very small hands. So, so we should look at... Tubby probably didn't do this one, because he... Didn't we even say, like, wow, he has big hands? Yeah. Or no, I think you said that. I think you were like, he has big hands. I notice hands. <laughs> uh, then you just knock, knock the, the painting. painting over. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? I push the painting into the okay, room. that's smart. All right, game. No, it's you, not. You it's win. really stupid. I could come I up with something this, way better. I thought this, but I just thought it was so dumb. So outlandish it. and didn't even make sense. Yeah, so please leave this game out with a bad review. It completes the locked room mystery. This is how the culprit did it. Okay. All right. That's clever. It's clever. Stupid game. That would have taken me like an hour of thinking to figure that out. <laughs> I know. I would have literally had to sit here by myself and go, okay, so this doesn't do that. This does that. It took some time, <coughs> oh. but you've reached the truth behind this locked room. Uh, did you just make fun of me <laughs> for taking a long time on that? Whatever, Halara. Through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. I would really love to see a real life crime scene detective play a game like this. I bet they could figure it out quick. That's what I think, honestly. I imagine they'd actually be like Halara and be like, oh, I see. I I think it would definitely be like much, much quicker than we pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, a fifth of the time. But I don't know. A lot of their crime scenes deal less with like unique contraptions that were like very, very, very well planned and more like, oh, well, we found this droplet of blood and guess what? It ties to this guy and blah, 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 blah. And mm-hmm. only this person could have done it because we have a witness that proves the other person was there at this time. So. Something else, too, is you usually have a bunch of different people investigating different things at crime scenes. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, being a real detective would be pretty complicated and less like cool puzzle game and more like, oh, Jesus, why are there so many people who in the world, you know? Yeah. I wish I had five suspects, or like 16, like a killing game, instead of like a million that live in a big city, you know? Right. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... Yep, yep. Wait, you mean me? It's okay, you're useful in other ways. I mean, yeah. You're the one that gets the ratings of this game higher. <laughs> the, eye, the eye candy. <laughs> there you go. Okay, give me that... Uh, solution key. Hey, a treasure chest! 
Let me open it this time. Uh, who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. <laughs> Halara. Uh, how would you decide that? Like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm the meanest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine what it would be like to be in a room with Shinigami for a day. Loud. Let's check out this treasure. Huh? What's wrong? It's empty. Huh? That's weird. Huh? Why? After all we went through to Does that mean we're wrong because it doesn't make sense with the paint can? I think so. How would you get the paint can in front of that door? I mean there were there was other stuff that was nailed everywhere too. Here's the thing, you know those door handles that are just like the single, put a picture on screen, you know what I'm talking about, editor gauge, where it's just like the single rod and you like turn it, Yeah. and then usually it turns on the other side, uh -huh. that would make sense for how you would like drop the paint can down in front of the door, but it wasn't a handle like that, it was a like, it was like a typical school door handle right. with just like the rod, you wouldn't be able to, I mean maybe you could hang a paint can on it actually. And like slam the door shut and it like makes it fall right in front of it. I Ma guess so. Maybe. Why do you need the paint can though? I don't know. Like that explains what they could have done with Just it. Just more fake evidence. Yeah, but, but this right here makes me think like something is off, you know? Right. This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. I don't know. That's oh. terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. Which you're whining. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. So, is Alara saying that one isn't as relevant? Well, it doesn't even match the MO, remember? Yeah. Not really. Best. Like, it, it kind of gets close, but there's a lot of little details it gets wrong. Right. So, first one didn't seem that complicated from how we were talking about it, because that one, someone really could have fit through the vent if they were small. Right, it, I'm not as worried about this one, especially once we start looking. It just said a thin person, so I think it's possible for someone to just lock the door, ago, squeeze through the vent, and leave, you know? District. Right. An old geezer was nailed to the wall in an underground casino. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the first locked room? I am. Let me go. Hmm. Wow. Me at 3 a.m. What? <laughs> Nothing. What'd you say? I said me at 3 a.m. Oh, what were they doing? Uh, they were going through a portal. Oh, okay. It didn't. It wasn't meant to make sense. Hmm. If the mystery isn't solved, then I want to see Look, this place. look at Hilara right now. They figured it out. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Trapped in a cramped room with these two. Sounds kind of fun, actually. Oh. I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Yuma, hurry up and take care of this. We can gamble. Look at Shinigami's face right now. <laughs> Sound fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would simp. Uh, I don't know. Where did the culprit flee from? This is where I used Hilara's forte with my coalescence for the first time. So, the only other possible way, besides the thing I just talked about where they leave through the vent, is they do lock the door, and then they somehow, some way, get the key into the cup. Right. Through the vent. But the vent... Which doesn't really make sense. They'd have to, like, throw it again, you know? I think the vent was used for escape. Probably. Because yeah. also, does the vent, like, the vent is in a wall. And we went underground. Yeah, and it looked like the vent... Actually, I don't know. Well, I would assume the vent goes upwards. Probably. That's usually... Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a... But it can't be like a drainage vent where you'd get water everywhere. So it can't even go to, like, the street. I don't know. Even if it just goes to another room where they can get out of... Yeah, I don't know. Postcognition allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Some things were obviously different. Those are most suspicious. Spot selection, where'd they f flee from? Well, we're just the gonna go yellow and go the vent. Yay! Okay. Seems like we're right. And they use the little nails like a ladder. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now it's coming back to me. You believe the culprit escaped through the vent? Yes, I'm sure of it. 
When I saw the crime scene with your post-cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. Oh, I forgot Which about the that. The must have escaped from there. I remember because I just edited it. Oh. Hey! <laughs> uh, say something, it's awkward. How ludicrous. You just came from there, stupid. <laughs> You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? That's impossible. How? Master, poke him full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course. Can use weed killer on you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spray him with some pesticide. Uh huh. What is in the background there? It looks like a skull to me. Kind of looks like Shinigami. It looks like her boobs on the right. Like, I'm not trying to be dirty, but I just wonder if it's like a secret, like, Shinigami in the end and she's evil looking. Feels you know? like one of those, like, how perverted are you quizzes. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, dorky nails beneath, nails beneath vent. Probably nails beneath vent. Well. They used the vent. Yeah. Is this a duck? Oh, That's what? <laughs> My head just clipped through it. That's alright. Think of where that vent is. Isn't High up. It? Pretty high up. It is. Ow, I didn't need to do that. Get there. Even if the cover was removed. Oh yeah. You're right. <laughs> um. We already know the vent's cover is easily removed. Are the nails really connected? Then, if the cover was open to get out through the vent, we need to figure out how it was reached in the first place by climbing the nails. Can you use the nails? Let's check the solution keys and think it over. <laughs> you just gave us the answer so easily, but yeah. okay. Even if the cover was removed. And that's not that one, because that's what I just tried. Oh, I hate There's this no doing that. To use to reach yeah! <laughs> we just waited one more and would have got it. Well, the other one made sense too, if they let me explain it. I know. Some of the nails stuck in the bottom of the vent were bent downward. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. Hmm. The weight caused the nails to bend. Yeah. I see, I see. Oh, that's it. <laughs> he really didn't have much to say this time. No, he didn't. Normally we go with, like, two of those. Well? This is meant to be the first one, though. Yeah, I think this one's not meant so to be that hard. Forced to yeah. fight this way every time. Quite the test of endurance. I'm strong. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. However, solving the mystery itself was simple. The nails were used as footing to escape through the vent. Yeah. Did you find that out using my post cognition? Yep. Yeah. Without your help, this case would have been impossible to solve. You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. I'm Thawi, but my power only lets me use other people's powers, so I'm gonna keep mooching for now. Yeah. Sorry. You got lectured again. <gasps> Sucks to be a rookie, huh? This one would be really hard to solve without hers, though. Even if you went to, like, the past crime scenes, it'd be like... <sighs> I think you could get it, but it'd be, like, oh, way harder. You'd have to be, like, an actual genius... I mean, you need, like, documentation to just know what it looked like. Like, pictures and stuff. Yeah. But even then, I mean, there are other clues you could look at. Like, I'm sure you could deduce that the holes in the walls here were nails. Um. Same with, uh... Oh, sorry. I'm sure the doll thing with the eye hole sockets cut out. The best way to do it would think, if I were to kill someone, how would I pull off a locked room mystery in here, mm -hmm. you know? Right, let's hurry. Yeah, <laughs> playing these games makes me confident I would never get away with a murder. <laughs> How does that even work? Don't don't question it. What was that like for him? The mystery labyrinth. Such a bizarre place. I must ask, is there no way to escape besides solving the mysteries? Death. You mean like an emergency exit? Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. An emergency exit, huh? is one kind of what does it cost yeah there is but it doesn't solve anything you'll just go right back to the mess you came from does it like wipe your memories if you choose to do it maybe besides to use the emergency exit you'll have to pay a heavy heavy price and that is don't worry about 
got it. Using it here wouldn't help anyway. So, never mind. Just concentrate on solving the mystery. Okay, that feels like heavy foreshadowing or something, but okay. It does. All right, so there's all the all the things. That one was so easy. We, yeah, we like, had that one. Hmm. Um, for the key. Still very interesting. We didn't even get something for the third one. Let's see if we get something there for this one. I'm sure treasure. we do. So, who's going to open the treasure chest this time? <laughs> How about uh, whoever looks like they'd win a character popularity poll? I, I'm curious now if Shinigami won the character popularity poll. Probably. Oh, Probably. Me. She's who I'd vote. <laughs> yeah. I like Halara a lot too. Halara is great. I'm starting to like him more and more the more like one on one time we get with each of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very curious to see where Shinigami is going to come in with some big plot stuff eventually. I'm Man, sure no she two will. Big plots she's already a part of. So <laughs> I wish I were a part of those plots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it has to be so uncomfortable hey. having boobs that big. I definitely feel like after like a long day of standing up or walking or something, your back would hurt. Yeah, I mean that's like a real thing I've heard of. Yeah, I generally feel a little bad. Like if I was that naturally gifted as a woman, I would probably definitely consider some like reduction surgery or something. Well, even if I was that naturally gifted as a man, you know. Yeah, I mean that would hurt too. You ever hear that? Like I remember there were old commercials when I was a kid where it's like. If you took such and such medication and have grown breasts as a male because of it, you may be entitled to financial compensation. I'd be like, sweet, I get boobs and money? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be scary, though. Imagine being, like, some, like, six-year-old who, like, just took, like, medicine. I guess not a six-year-old, but yeah. maybe, like, some, like, early teenager, you know? Well, I don't know if it's ever stuff like that. Uh, what's the word? Extreme. No, no, but no. But just, like, m bigger than what it normally should be. That's even a thing you see with, like... Though, you know, I've heard of, like, uh, trans girls who do, like, end up walking out of the, uh, oh, what is it called? Like, HRT, Hormone Replacement Therapy. Uh-huh. But apparently they do walk out with sizable things. Yeah, I mean, that I can see. Uh, have you ever heard of the thing? I don't, like, take this with a grain of salt, because I heard this forever ago, and I don't even know if it's true. But something to do with, like, they give cows, like, hormones oh, to make yeah. them produce more milk. But the problem with that is... I, I don't know how accurate this is, but when people go to drink that milk now, even guys, they'll, like, get a little bit bigger chest-to-chest -chest because of it, you know? I don't know. Do you drink a lot of milk? Uh, I mean, I always have. I always yeah. ate a lot of cereal, drank a lot of the school milk. See, I was never much of a milk guy in general. Do you think I have boobs? Is that what you're... I mean, you've definitely got more of a chest than I do, but that, you also, like, do chest stuff, so... That's true. I can't... That, that was something I, like, questioned at one point, because I got some... I got I could jiggle this thing, you know? Right. <laughs> but I also, like, do, like, push-ups on the regular, so it could just be muscle, or it could be my big cow hormone boobs. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe both. Looks like I thought I heard that wasn't true somewhere, though. Culprit. I'm guessing it's something that maybe, like, was true at some point, and then the rumor just spread, but it's not true, like, everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of that, so... I'm sure, like, the FDA or something was like, oh, well, probably better get strict. <laughs> I mean, would it even be something that people care about, though? I feel like only for boys. Oh, no, the girls have bigger boobs. What a sad thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like most, like, men and stuff aren't going to care about that. If I was a girl, I'd be like, glug, 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 glug. But I don't know. You ever you see know, that in like anime and stuff? The you'll you'll have the typical like flat chested girl, and they'll be like, "I need to drink milk." Oh, I think that's kind of where that. A lot of the anime I watch is not like that. I like I like a pretty wide variety. I don't really watch as much of the slice of life stuff anymore, but I like it. I've never been into slice of life that much. Really, I, I like not really just like regular slice of life. Well, okay, well some. Uh, I usually like romances quite a bit. It's because you're lonely. And moving on with the episode now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love romance just as a genre, though. It's so, like... I mean, it does make me lonely after watching it, I won't lie, but it's, like, a nice feeling, like... It's it's a nice thing to, like, kind of experience, even if it's... If I can't experience it through my own eyes, at least let me experience it through an anime character. It's okay, Ethan. I get that more with action. Like, I like romance stuff. There's a few, like... You know, I've honestly never, like, been that into, like, romance books or movies or shows or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, I am interested in, like, romantical-type things, but... 
I don't know. I've always it's always been more like action stuff that I relate to. Relate or, to or, or like find myself yearning for afterwards. Oh, like, like a good like actiony adventure or something. Right. Like I'll watch like Transformers or something and be like like for the longest time as a kid I was like, I wish I was a Transformer. Or like you could be trans if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I can be half of it, I guess. Go go transform! <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not a girl now. I, I'm a transformer, like Optimus Prime, you know. <laughs> D- didn't you hear the noise I just made? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trans, and you're like, you go to school, and your school has to put up like a robot sign on the restroom. <laughs> a, a robot gendered sign. Yeah. Transformers only. <laughs> <laughs> would, they, would they just like? I wonder, it's like, I can't go to the nurse's office. I have to go to the mechanic's shop now. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway. No, that's a funny line of thought. I like that. I I like like I, I like any genre, really. Um, that's it. I don't have any other but to that. I, I really, as a kid, would spend a lot of time daydreaming about big action adventure stuff. And I'm not going to lie, I still do. Uh, you know what my favorite genre is? What? Like, trauma stuff. What do you mean? Like, Chainsaw Man, the guy's constantly going through trauma. Mm. Fire Punch, the guy's constantly going through trauma. I will say I like stories where it gets... The the darker it gets, the more I usually like mm-hmm. it. I, I like it to feel real. I like it when in a story invokes a lot of emotion in me even if it's fear if it's sadness if it's anger i i I adore getting those negative emotions out of a story because that's how you know it is beautifully written that's what i love about the movie district nine so much because it's a movie that grounds itself so much in like a very possible reality by using real world examples of how like people have been treated like with camps and all that type of things you Mm. know and just how like unapologetically cruel humanity can be and it takes like them being like i won't spoil anything but it takes a lot of humbling for such and such human to be better Mm. you know it's district nine is my favorite movie and i don't know if that's going to change because it's so good i love everything about it it was a good movie for sure best movie but i kind of like honestly i do not determine my where I rate movies or games or anything off of how good it is, of how talented of people it took to make it, or, like, any of that. Usually it's just, like, the emotional response I get from seeing that. So it could be the worst freaking game I've ever played. If it makes me cry my eyes out because it's so beautiful to me, then, boom, that's my favorite game now, you know? I will say I adore, like, usually sad endings and stuff like that. Because it really... Mm. Like, happy endings are great. I love happy endings, too. But sad endings usually get you feeling like, uh, what? <laughs> no, you know? And I like that. Yeah, I yeah. get that. Usually bittersweet endings are really good, too, because they kind of like make you conflicted on how to feel a little bit, and that's kind of nice to be like, oh, what was that? Fire Punch has the best ending. You guys, read Fire Punch. It's literally the best thing ever written by the best author ever born by the best human ever <laughs> conceived of. Again, I can see the like great talent and stuff behind it, but emotionally didn't really like it, it was fun uh, emotionally, it was fun to it, read but i didn't really care it got me everywhere emotionally really mhm see for me i read it and i was like well i'm finished with that now what was i doing before <laughs> mm. <laughs> like it was good it was enjoyable and i see why you like it and hearing you talk about it definitely puts a lot of perspective into like why you think it's so good cuz if it were just me and i never heard anyone talk all this praise about it i'd probably be like that was all right <laughs> but no, yeah, I think it was just fine and enjoyable and good. For me, my favorite, like, story that got me feeling the most would probably be Oyasumi Pun Pun. We talk about these in our Discord kind of often. Mm-hmm. Ethan's always telling people to read Fire Punch, and I'm like, read Oyasumi Pun Pun. And nobody's read either, I don't think. Uh, actually, I got, like, one person to read some of Pun Pun, so yeah. Who's that one person? Haruka. Oh, Haruka? Yeah. One person, I'm not going to name drop anything, but I am very disgusted with them. They keep saying, I'll read Fire Punch, I'll read Fire Punch. Well, buddy, you haven't read Fire well, Punch it? yet. It's Noah. <laughs> I'm not going to name drop him. <laughs> no, I can't stand You know, keep that in. Yeah. Keep that in because yeah. I'm pretty fed up, honestly. Anyway, you guys that have read either of those, tell us which one you like. Um, and tell me why it's Fire Punch. Well, what I like about Pun Pun, though, is just, yeah, the emotional response. Like, it is a very beautiful... Lee written story took a very talented uh, creator to make it but the re- that's not the reason I like it at all it could have the worst art worst story ever if it got me to like 
<laughs> then I'd call it my favorite, you know? Yeah. But that one, like, the ending, it, like, espe- the whole thing, but especially the ending got me like, whoa, you know? I won't say whether it was a good whoa or a bad whoa, but it was a whoa, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I, I guess for Fire Punch... It's just so unpredictable, which one, I love, because a lot of stuff's just predictable nowadays. And two, the characters are all written so interestingly, and with such, like, beautiful messiness that I feel like feels real, but fictional real at the same time. It's really hard to explain, and I've kind of ranted long enough, and I'm tired of ranting, but... You you can get tired of ranting? Uh, yeah, it's possible. Oh, okay. But, just... Fire Punch is just art. It's just perfect. And it's the most amazing story ever made. And you have to go and at least read the first 87 chapters. Wow. That's quite a time commitment. No, no, it's I'm really quick. I think I read it in like three days. Like, I read it in like a night. Not not over the course of three... Not like not in three days, like 72 hours or whatever, but like a little bit each night for three days. Right. Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments what your guys' favorite piece of media is, without spoiling it, but what got you emotionally feeling the most like, raw? Oh, a really good movie, maybe my second favorite movie, No Country for Old Men. Very good. What? Remind me what that one is? That's the one, you know that coin toss scene I showed you with that really creepy guy? Oh, the- yeah, that was a weird seeming movie, but it looked good it's very good it's so good honestly i don't think i really have a favorite movie because i don't watch a lot of movies i'm a sucker for just uh he likes dr doolittle too <laughs> with eddie murphy what <laughs> what right <laughs> it's been years since i've seen those movies uh, but that's the only movies you've seen <laughs> what, what other movies have you seen john, john wick. wick yeah see i need to say john wick i like john wick what other well, movies the fourth have one kind of sucked but uh i don't know See, there is none. I don't... Like I said, I don't watch a lot. I really like Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse is amazing. One and two were really good. I loved... One was really good. Two was amazing. Yeah, I hope they... I've heard rumors are not going to make a three, though. I thought they're working on a three. And I thought so, too, but they said it was going to come out by, like... I think it was, like, June or July this year. But then they're like, that's obviously not happening. Huh. So... I heard there's some weird stuff about development. Also, the guy who voices Miles mm-hmm. is apparently really, really weird and has talked about how he obsesses over white women on Twitter or something like that. I mean, that's what he does in the movie, too. Yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of, yeah, if you think about it. It's probably the inspiration for the real Miles. But it was, it was like some, like, like it might have been satirical or whatever, but it was just some funny, like, text. If you care, look him up, but... That is enough rambling for now. Yeah, I'm ending the episode. Thanks for watching. You subscribe. At least get this dialogue. What? Let's at least like click out of this. Nah. I just, since this is the last one, it might lead right into the next. Okay, thing. that's fair. Yeah, let's just click off the video. Sorry, guys. I tried to prolong it for you, but cry about it. The, the episode's, episode's over. been over for like ten minutes now. Wee, if you're wee, still here, wee. you have nothing to complain about. I'm ending it. Stop talking.